I'm Matthew Barton. Um, I'm a specialist auctioneer in silver works of art and objects of virtue. And my company, Matthew Barton Limited, has sales of silver out of our premises in West London at 25 Blythe Road. One of the common forms of silver is table silver, or flatware as it's sometimes called. One of the most important things about table silver is numbers. People like to have sets, so they like to have a full place setting, preferably eight or twelve. Six is fine, but above six is always better. This is, these are from a set of twelve, and they're twelve of everything, um, and that's always probably the most sought after and common number. Particularly with older table silver, it's quite common to have match sets. So they will be from different dates and different makers. This doesn't necessarily matter as long as they're all the same pattern. And for this reason, the common patterns are the most popular because you can add to them. Very worn pieces can be reconditioned by a professional restorer where the ends of the tines on the fork are all straightened out again and the bowls are all polished up and very commonly the whole, all the pieces are buffed up to a nice bright shine. On the one hand this looks nice for use at the table but it's actually not a good thing in value terms. People prefer to find things in original condition. This soup ladle is of a very common pattern called fiddle pattern, probably because the terminal um, copies the shape of a violin and in common with a lot of English silver it's engraved with a crest. Almost all silver was originally engraved with a crest or with the owner's initials and a lot of people like to find the original engraving still on the piece, it's part of the history of the piece. 